Have you ever been working on a project and wanted to be able to add a custom sort? So by default, you can sort A to Z or Z to A. But if that order isn't working for you, then today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a custom sort order. So this trick is super easy. All we have to do is add a number before the status. So I have drop down source right here, and I'm going to show you how to set this. So I have it set here. Actually, let's do working before pending. And then I'm just going to add a number before these. So you can just do a number and then that or a period or a dash, whatever looks good to you. I'm going to do a period here. And then once I have these set, all I need to do is update these to those. So I'll be right back. All right. And so once I have these updated, then I can simply click on this drop down next to the filter and do sort A to Z. And now you can see my custom sort order where I can reverse this and go Z to A. So that is now a quick and easy way to do that. And so this is with the filter tool. So let me just show you the filter tool. I'm going to remove it right now. And so if you have a tab, you don't have this on it, just click up in the upper left to select all the data. And then up here in the toolbar, click this create a filter. And then you can simply click on the right hand side of any column and then sort A to Z or Z to A. So you can still sort A to Z on, for example, sales reps or other columns, but then you can always go to status and do sort A to Z there as well. And then on a table, I have the data already set up here. And so the way it works on a table is you click on the right here on this little drop down, and then sort column, and then you can do the same thing right there, just like that. All right, that is it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if this video is helpful for you and check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.